on the Quincy Hawks here at home. I'm here with assistant coach Brandon Kimbrew. Brandon, it was a tough loss on Thursday. How are you guys going to rally back against Quincy, who's fourth in the conference? Well, we need to, it needs to start with our defense. We struggled stopping um, Truman State on, on Thursday night, so we really need to get our, improve our defense um, to help us you know, bounce back from that loss on Thursday night. You have a few players who've been injured that are coming back into the game, particularly Mike, Mike Noel away. How do you integrate those guys coming back in moving forward? Yeah, I mean, Mike's been out for a couple weeks now, so I mean, his, his, his conditioning has dropped off, obviously, you know, his, his feel for the game when you're sitting out that long. So, I mean, we, we just got to ease him back into it. He's been practicing a lot better. I think he's getting more confident um, on his ankle. So hopefully he'll, he'll see more minutes. He saw minutes Thursday night. Um, so hopefully he'll see more minutes today. We need him to get back to where he was. He was really helping us. Um, he was a big part of what we were doing as well. So we need to get him healthy and get him back out there. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Now over to Bobby for the highlights. Throwback day at the O'Reilly Center. Look at those jerseys. Slick. Panthers looking to rebound at home. Quincy, though, had other ideas. Hawks opened the game on an 8-0 run, and Drury couldn't buy a bucket in the first half. The team shot 23% from the field on 6-for-26 shooting, and this sequence sums up the first half for Drury. Bundy misses it. Jamil Jones grabs the board, goes the length of the court. No one picks him up. That's an easy two. Jones had 22 on the evening. Dion Pettigrew trying to find a pulse in this lifeless Panther offense, but the Hawks on a mission in the first half. Four players with seven or more points. Godson Amagwe had eight as he slams home to OP here. Quincy up 42-28 at the half and Marty Bell has to be pleased as he enters the huddle. Check this out though. This happened earlier in the Letty Panthers game. Half court shot for three grand! Zach Aiken, get paid, young fella. Second half, boy, are you in for a show? Strap in. Four minutes left, Panthers down three. Bundy penetrates, finds Trevor Clay. He dials in from long distance, all tied up. Now under three, Panthers up two, make it four. Cam Adams, the senior, he was big, 25 and 11 tonight, and trying to put the nail in the coffin, but the Hawks wouldn't die. Look at the effort from Dalton Hoover. He gets it to go. We're heading to overtime. And why waste any more time? Under 10 seconds left, Hawks down two. They fumble the ball around. It winds up in the hands of Amagwe, who he a desperation three and it goes unbelievable Amagwe 20 points none more crucial than these three Hawks now up 88 87 silence in the O'Reilly Center last chance for Drury 1.6 seconds left who you gonna call how about Cameron Bundy Ben Fisher to throw it in Amagwe guards him he can run the baseline he'll throw it to half court Bundy a couple dribbles half court shot up it's good he made it you have gotta be kidding me How about that? And that's how you win a game if you're Cameron Bundy. 90 to 88, incredible, wild, crazy, you name it. Panthers escape on Bundy's buzzer beater. Alex Smith is back by the locker room. Guess who she's talking to? What was your first thought when it went in? Um, well, at first I didn't think it was going in. And then when it went in, I just, I couldn't even believe it. I was going crazy. And the first person I saw was Cameron Adams, and he grabbed me, and the next thing I knew, everyone was on the court, and I was just in the middle of everybody. It was, it was a lot of fun. You were down 22 against Umsel last week, 20 this game. What does that say about the resiliency of your team? Well, I mean, I guess we need to get some alarm clocks because, uh, I don't know, I've been doing this 30-some years, and uh, I, I can't get my finger on it to get them to – we just we're just not starting games very well and and we don't play with energy and we don't compete and we don't run back and and you know then then i don't know what happens uh if you know tell me but uh um you know i thought they showed some some toughness and some courage and and uh, um you know gave a lot of effort in the last uh, 25 minutes thank you coach